Decorative tapes are one of my favorite ways to decorate my bullet journal because they are, first of all, super beautiful. They're also really versatile. You can get a whole theme out of a single washi tape or PET tape, and they also play really well with others. So you can mix them up with stickers and papers and stuff like that too. The Washi Tape Shop is my absolute go-to for decorative tapes, and they very kindly sent me some of their new releases recently, so I thought it would be fun to have a little look, swatch all of these cuties, and enjoy a little decorative tape haul. Hi, it's Erin, thank you for clicking on my video. Right now, the Washi Tape Shop are actually running their Boxing Week sale, which means you can get big savings on their stuff if you use the code BOX. You'll get 20% off site-wide until December 29, 2023. If you are watching this later than that, don't worry, there are still savings for you. You can use my affiliate code ErinSmith10 and you'll get 10% off at the Washi Tape Shop any time of year. Let's start out with PET tapes because that is the section I have the most of here. PET tapes are the kind that are on a clear background like this. They usually peel off a also clear backing tape layer. This one is called Garden Glam and it comes in a PET tape like I'm showing you here. It also has a washi tape version or you can get them both in a set. This one is $12.95 US and just to let you know all of the prices I'm mentioning in this video will be in US dollars just so you know what's going on. The vibes here are Magical Girl Anime, and she's powered by flowers. The designs here are pretty close together, so if you want to separate these out into different stickers, it's a little bit tricky to cut around things without interfering with the design. It is all just one constant piece of printed PET tape, so they don't peel off as separate kiss cut stickers. You have to do the cutting out yourself, but it does mean that they're really versatile and you can cut things down to be smaller, you can fit them into smaller spaces, or you can use them as a really bold and large element of a design as well. I'm using them in an A5 journal, here to give you an idea of the sizing and I've cut out the little clusters of girls and their surrounding florals and sparkles and things and I'm layering them down on the page. I've managed to fit five girlies and two generally decorative like archways and gates with flowers kind of things and that has almost completely covered my A5 page so that gives you an idea of how big these designs are. I'm not typically into having little people designs in my journal but I do think these are really gorgeous and I have used them a little bit to decorate the nameplate page of the giveaway journal, which you won't see for a while, but keep an eye out for the flip through in about six months. <laughs> I can imagine myself using these in my reading journal though, which I'm a little bit less precious about than my bullet journal. So, you know, anime girls have a place in my reading journal and I do read a lot of fantasy. So there's a chance that these would be really appropriate for like an Elaine Archeron kind of a vibe. Sometimes the washi tape shop collaborate with artists and they credit them and have them design washi tapes and PET tapes for them. The website doesn't denote a particular artist for these ones, so I'm assuming this is an in-house washi tape shop design. I think it is so pretty and elegant. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. One thing to note about PET tapes is that because they are made of plastic, in certain light they will be shiny and reflective. And there are no metallic elements on these ones, but they are a little bit shiny in the light. And I know not everyone's into that. It is no secret that I love a floral PET tape. And this is a fantastic option because it's quite versatile. This is the Floret Trilogy PET tape. What's unique about this one is that it has the same designs rendered in three different colors. So there's a purple version, there's a gray version, and there's a green version all on the one tape. The one I have is actually the iridescent version, which means all of the little details in the roses are actually a little bit shiny and iridescent in the correct light. It's quite subtle, but they do also make a PET tape version of this that doesn't have the iridescence. And of course it also comes in a washi tape version or as a set. You get five meters of this tape on the roll and the design loop is 100 centimeters. So having this times three in the set would probably be overkill for me. But if you like to use a lot of your tapes, then that could probably be a good option for you. It's pastel, it's floral, and it's iridescent, which means it ticks most of my boxes of favorite things to put in my journal. I've had the idea of a monochromatic bullet journal layout in my head for a while, and I think the gray version of these might actually be completely perfect for that. I live in a place that doesn't have a lot of deciduous trees, so I don't really experience the changing colors of autumn leaves the way that other places do. So the only way I get to experience that really is in my bullet journal, and this is the perfect PET tape for that. This one's called Harvest Hues, it's $10.95 US, and it also comes in a washi tape version, or of course, it also comes in a set if you wanna have both. I find that PET tapes seem to handle color a little bit better. They're usually a bit more vibrant than the washi tape counterparts, if that makes sense. And the PET tape versions are usually a little bit more opaque as well, so you can layer them over the top of other things, whereas the washi tape version, while still super beautiful and will blend in nicely with your page as well because they're matte, obviously they don't have that shiny sheen of the plastic of PET. I do find the washi tape versions are more difficult to layer because they're that little touch more transparent. So. It really all comes down to personal preference, but I love that the Washi Tape Shop has these options so that everybody can get the version that they most enjoy. 
There's no gold or holographic gilding on this one, but there is an ever so slight texture to this PET tape. It's honestly so subtle you could miss it, and it's definitely not going to interfere with the way you use your pen once you turn the page or anything like that. It just is like a little extra sensory touch of something. I think this next one is my absolute favorite from the Washi Tape Shop's recent releases. This one is called Frost Bloom. It's the most beautiful, delicate mix of large flowers. These ones are pretty big. In the most beautiful soft pinks and icy grays, it is just so romantic. I actually couldn't help myself. I used this one immediately. You'll see it coming up soon on my channel in my February giveaway journal video. One thing you have to be careful of if you're putting down large amounts of PET tape is that they don't buckle on itself and kind of make these little bubbles like I'm trying to get out here. This one unfortunately was permanent, but usually if you work at it for a while or really carefully peel the tape back up, you can get rid of those little buckles and bubbles and have a very nice smooth application. Something I think the Washi Tape Shop do really beautifully on their floral PET tapes and of course this one does also come in a washi tape version or a set if you prefer. But it's the way they group together designs, so there'll be a cluster of flowers that you can use in a large way that has a lot of impact. There'll be a little individual flower that you can use for a subtle little accent somewhere on the page just to keep the theme feeling consistent. And then there are some in-between size ones as well. So sometimes I even like to use the smaller flowers to link together the larger designs to make it look like they were all designed that way anyway, if that makes sense. This one also has that raised shell kind of texture to it that's very subtle, but there is a little kind of something under your finger there. So it's a very nice tactile experience. Next up, we have the Frozen PET tape, which is very similar in the vibes, except that we're leaning more into an icy baby blue rather than the pink of the Frost Bloom tape. Also comes in a washi tape version and a set too. The design on this one has the flowers a little bit smaller than on the Frost Bloom, so it is a little bit of a busier look on the page, but it is such a gorgeous winter floral moment and just so calming to look at that I feel like it's a really good fit for me right now, given that it is summertime here in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm in Australia and it's very hot. It's also the busy Christmas holiday period, so it's nice to have something calming to look at, especially if you're not someone who copes well with summer, like me. <laughs> No metallics or holographics going on here, just these lovely muted colors and that slight touch of texture that's on the other tapes that we've mentioned as well. If you're into a bit more contrast, maybe cobalt blue is a good match for you. This one has a much deeper shade of blue mixed with some very deep navies and blacks as well, which means they'll stand out really boldly on a white page journal. The design for this one is a little bit different too. There are lots of kind of half wreath shapes going on here. There are some really big clusters of flowers. There are some smaller clusters of flowers. And these ones are all in this beautiful watercolor design that has a few little paint splatters around as well. So it's very soft, even though it's so striking and bold. Most of the flowers here are on the smaller side, so you can use the little individual flowers in between sections on the PET tapes to link the designs together and make things look however you like on your page. Because these ones are so dark, they have a lot of visual weight, which means you need to be a bit careful about how you approach using them on a page. If what I just said makes absolutely no sense to you, I have a video about making your bullet journal more beautiful. I'll have a link to that in the description. We talk about some graphic design concepts and it's a good time. The next few tapes I'm going to talk about are Christmas coded. So if it's like March or something and you don't want to talk about Christmas, you can use the chapters in the scrolly bar down below or in the video description to skip ahead. This is the Fireside PET tape, and if it looks familiar, that's because I used it in my December reading journal setup. I just fell in love with it at first sight. The vibes here are so cozy. We've got mantelpieces and fireplaces and Christmas trees with snow on them. It's like the little interior design Christmas moment. And all of these cozy little home interior vignettes are linked together by some classic Christmassy florals, which just makes it so easy to use to create a whole theme. I also love that the colors aren't screaming Christmas. It's not bright reds and really saturated greens. It's much more muted. There are some lovely warm tones in there. I just think this is incredibly cozy. <laughs> the Washi Tape Shop do some Christmas releases every year, and I think from memory they don't actually keep restocking these ones, so it's kind of a one and done situation for Christmas things. If this takes your fancy, I would recommend you jump on it soon. Also, just in case it matters to you, this one is just a smooth PET tape. This one doesn't have any texture on it. Very similar, the Creekside Farms wide PET tape has very similar little illustrations on it, but it's all mixed together with some text as well. So beautiful typography, lots of season's greetings, most wonderful time of the year, all they want for Christmas is you, that kind of thing, which I don't usually lean to myself. I don't really like text stickers so much in my journal, 
But if you're someone who's into card making, this would be such a good investment because obviously you need some text on your cards. What a great way to get it in there and take the pressure of yourself so you don't have to letter everything yourself unless you want to. Just once again, the washi tape shop thinking of the different people and what they like. We've got the Fireside tape for people like me who aren't that into text. We've got the Creekside Farms tape for people who really are into text. Everybody wins and they're complimentary, so you can even use them together. For the lovers of adorable things, we've got the Silent Night PET tape or washi tape or set. This one has little snowmen and this cute little, what is he, a hedgehog character who's kind of playing with the snowman and he's dressing a tree with little pine cones or acorns or something like that. It's got some text on this one as well. We've got little Oh Holy Nights and Let It Snows and Winter Blessings and things like that. This one honestly is not really my style. I don't go so much for the cutesy stuff, but I do love the color palette. You've got some lovely muted greens. You've got some lovely warm beige kind of tones in there and even a little bit of a deep icy blue. So that's always nice to see. Again, this might be a good option for you if you're into card making or if you like to have a bit more text in your journal too. Lots of Christmas carol references here, which makes sense because it's called Silent Night, so you know. And this one is also very smooth, no raised textures on this one at all. Just because it's not my vibe doesn't mean it won't be your vibe, so let me know what you think of this one in the comments down below. Last of the Christmas items, but we're also moving into a new category here. This one is a washi tape sticker set. Because these ones are on paper tape, they are matte rather than shiny like the PETs. These ones are a collection of two solid washi tapes, the tiny thin ones at the top there, and three rolls of stickers that are kiss cut. You can just peel them off, stick them down. You don't have to cut anything out yourself for these ones. Starting out with that super thin washi we're going to do at the bottom of the page, the one that's got little candy canes and the colors here are blue and beige and red mostly. So again, it's a bit of an unexpected color palette for Christmas. These washies have a release backing, so there's a separate bit of backing tape that keeps them sticky, keeps them from ripping as you're peeling them up, stuff like that. And then along the top is a bit more of a classic Christmas design. This one has green and beige and red little gingerbread cookies and candy canes and holly leaves in this one. Then we move on to the stickers, and I really like washi tape stickers as a kind of sticker delivery method. I find it works really well for me. We're going to start with the biggest of the sticker roll, which means that you've got some really big ones. This one's cut off because it was at the end of the roll, but you can still use those ones. You just have to be a bit creative about where you place them. This one's got some really interesting designs, so lots of kind of jugs with some Christmas florals growing out of them. Some of them are mugs that have got almost little house vibes to them, little snowmen, we've got reindeer, we've got little village vibes. Sometimes these can be a little bit tricky to get off the roll. The kiss cut doesn't go all the way around. You just have to be careful with them. They're quite delicate. But because these ones are all from the same set, obviously they look fantastic together. So they look great with those two thin washies that we tried out earlier. And they're gonna look great with the sticker rolls for the other two coming up that are a little bit less tall. So a slightly smaller sticker, this next roll has lots of Christmas stockings, lots of lanterns, and lots of little just floral kind of poinsettia moments, which is always welcome at Christmas time. I actually love small stickers. I think they are the most versatile for bullet journaling. They fit into all of the little corners. You can layer them over a functional layout without them detracting too much from the space that you need for your actual planning or tracking or whatever it is that you do in your journal. And because these ones are made from washi, they're not PET, they're not at all shiny. They really do just kind of melt almost seamlessly into your page and look very at home there as long as there's nothing behind them. The only thing I think could have made this sticker set better was if there was some gold gilding on there because I love some gold gilding and if you can't do it at Christmas time, when can you? <laughs> Leaving behind the Christmas stuff now, we've got one last washi sticker set for me to share today and this one is called Fragole and Fafale, like the pasta. <laughs> This one has two solid rolls of washi tape that have repeating patterns on them and then two larger rolls that have removable stickers. Correct me if I'm wrong Italian speakers because I do not speak any Italian, but fragole I think is strawberry and farfalle is butterfly, which makes so much sense for this set because the stickers have some strawberries in and there's a roll that's just butterflies, so you know, it's all coming together. The color scheme here is this slightly muted kind of mustard yellow paired with pink and it is so incredibly summery. There are lots of florals going on here. I thought I'd show you my trick for storing these washi tapes that have a backing. I like to just cut the backing off a little bit before the end of the washi so there's a bit of sticky stuff hanging out over the ends there and then you can use that to stick it down to itself rather than having to keep an extra bit of tape to stick your washi tape down. I just feel like this is the simplest and most straightforward way for me and I feel like it works really well. So far I haven't had any adhesive stick to it that made that underneath bit of washi unusable so I'm going to continue doing this until I have a reason not to. 
Now you guys know I'm not into butterflies in my journal. I have nothing against butterflies in general in the real world. I think they are beautiful creatures, but I don't like them in my journal for some reason. But a lot of people seem to because there are butterflies on a lot of stationery out there. So if you're into the butterfly life, this is such a good fit for you. You get a whole roll of just vibrant butterfly stickers, which is pretty amazing. Lots of reds, bright pinks, we've got yellows, blues and greens going on, but I think the piece de resistance of this set is this large sticker roll that is just so perfect for bullet journaling. Like this is the kind of stuff that I go crazy over. Obviously all of these tapes work well together and stickers, but the ones on this roll I feel like could be a whole theme just on its own. I'll show you what I mean on the right page here because I'm really just spacing out and slightly layering the stickers just in whatever order that I peeled them off. But it looks like I put a lot of work into this page and tried really hard to make like a beautiful cover page or something, but actually it's just the combination of all of the stickers working together. They already look amazing. You really can't mess it up. So I love it when things are easy like this. This set was designed by Federica, also known as Fibujo on Instagram, and I've loved her work with the Washi Tape Shop before, so I guess it makes perfect sense that I love this set as well. There's something about the combination of the pastel colours, the fruit themes, the floral themes, and just the dainty little ribbons that just makes it feel incredibly summer appropriate. And I'm kind of obsessed. Even though there's a lot of butterflies going on here, I'm still really into it. That's it for my little end of 2023 washi tape shop haul. I hope you've enjoyed having a look through all of these with me. Let me know in the comments down below which is your favourite from this video. If you're planning to do some shopping, don't forget to take advantage of the Washi Tape Shop's Boxing Week sale, which is running until the 29th of December. You can get 20% off with the code BOX, or if it's any other time of year and you still want to have some savings, you can use my code ERINSMITH10 to save 10% off any time of year. If this was not enough washi tape haulage for you, I will pop a link to my last washi tape shop haul up in the top right corner for you here. And underneath that is a link to all of my stationery haul videos from the whole year in a nice little playlist for you. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see you again next week. Bye.